Okay, we're recording again. But I dropped my wire. Okay, you're understanding what's going on here, I'm sure. This is pretty tricky. Put this wire in here. And you measure your axle you're making with the wire in there. And you go for your largest measurement. That's 93, 94. That's 994. That's 994. And if you remember, we just had 994. There you go. It's physics. And it, it's simple. You, you, I have to have things simple to do machine work. I know it's more complicated than this. You know it and I know it's more complicated than this. But you're duplicating everything. When this axle measures 0.994 with this wire in it, and they're the same diameter to begin with, you know that that groove is the right depth. Now I have not, you let me know, you let me know a little bit where to and how to figure that out, if you'd be so kind. But this works and you'll, as you think about it, you'll realize how much sense that makes. And that works, as you can see. Okay. Well, how about that? How about that? That's amazing. So, big victory. I'm Robert at the Amateur Machine Shop here in Pensacola, Florida again. We have another big victory. We are attempting the impossible here. I'm happy to say that you can cut hard steel with inexpensive equipment with a small lathe. I have a really nice lathe I bought. It's a two horsepower floor model, the smallest floor model I could find. Two horsepower. And you may say, well, you need a 5 8 set up with a 14 inch swing. You may say, well, you need more power to cut hard steel, like hubs, like talking tool steel and bearing race. I've already cut a bunch of bearing race because car parts, what I'm making, the hubs are bearing race. It, it, you know that's the hardest stuff on earth. It's a matter of the inserts you have. The tip of the day, week and month, is forget trying to cut hard steel with carbide inserts. You can't, I can't do it. I've hired, spent tens of thousands of dollars at machine shops cutting my hard steel bearing race and cast iron. It just looks like it's very rough, like a rough finish, like it, it rips the metal off. Using the CBN inserts, the hard inserts with extremely high RPMs and high RPMs and low feeds. Now fast feeds and low feeds and, and small cutting eight thousandths at a time, six thousandths in the bearing race especially, that sort of thing. You get a lightning show and you get a lot of heat and a lot of burn, burning chips but it comes off with a mirror finish and it works but the tip of the year is it's the tooling you're using. A smaller machine can cut hard steel with the proper CBN inserts. I'm not going to make any tooling out of carbide stock and form and file my own carbides. That's, a, that's history. I, I, an amateur should not try that. Just enjoy buying inserts, pre-made inserts. And this fits. Look how happy I am. That's going to go on there. <laughs> and that's enough for today. I hope this helps somebody out a little bit. And if I can do it, you can do it. That's what this is all about. If I was able to buy these inexpensive machines 
and you can buy these machines and do your own machine work just like I have. If I can do it, you can do it too. So this is Robert. It's goodbye for now until next time from the machine shop. We're an amateur machinist getting it done. <laughs>